Hey everyone, Renee here from Tippy.com, and I am going to share some tips and tricks on how to better navigate in mobile Safari and in a lot of other iOS apps. So I am here on the nifty new Tippy review page. Um, you can see it here. One of the first things to note is if you scroll down a lot and you ever want to just get right back to the top, all you have to do is hit the top bar up there and it'll scroll you auto magically right to the very top of the page. Unfortunately there's nothing at the bottom to scroll down, you've got to do that manually, but um, it's a fairly good tip to know. If you see an area of the screen, for example this looks very small, that you want to um, zoom in on, you just double tap it and it will find the closest element, in this case it's probably the, the div tag or the image tag, and it will zoom you up to that. If you want to move around, you just touch the screen and you can move around. If you, if the iOS, the iPhone, the iPad detects you moving in a diagonal direction, it will give you free movement. If it detects you moving in an up and down motion, it will then lock you up and down. So I can no longer go side to side. It is just going up and down. That is very handy if you want to read text without having to go back and forth in the margins a lot. You can double tap again to pick a new element or zoom out. Another thing to note is of course you can do this manually with the pinch and spread to zoom and that is not constrained at all you can just pretty much go to town on that and you want to go back to zoom in and go back to zoom out okay more on the ninja tip side of things it's gonna find our appropriate page um, this is a, a back end to a content management system and let's say I zoom in on some text here now if I just try to scroll normally it scrolls the whole page but what if I want to scroll just the text inside this form field um, then what I have to do and I have to try to work around the camera so I apologize I put two fingers on it and I scroll with two fingers and that moves just the text inside the page neither the top nor the bottom are moving if I used one finger the whole page would move two fingers just the text inside so that is your bonus tip if you are doing a lot of form field entry on the iPhone or the iPad uh, that is what you need to do. So again this is Renee from Tippy.com and this is just a couple quick tips on how to better navigate around mobile Safari or any other application that works in a similar way.